Why do I play with this racket now? What are its strengths and weaknesses? Do you wanna get one for free? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. As many of you already know, a few months ago I injured my right elbow. I dislocated while snowboarding and as I am right-handed, it was one of the worst injuries I ever had. With the recovery, I have lost strength in my arm and I have to go little by little recovering without doing too many stupid things. So if I want to play paddle, one of the things that I have to take into account is the weight of the racket that I play with. Think that an average paddle match lasts for one hour and a half. Our arm has to stand the weight of the racket during that time to be able to move the racket properly and also stand the vibrations caused by the impacts. Unfortunately, more than one of you have been injured or have some pain on your arm, but being able to play with a lighter racket can help you to reduce that discomfort. These are the main reasons why I now play with the Vela LTV2, but how much this racket weight? I leave the original grip and only add one more over grip and the racket with that combination weights 363 grams. For comparison, with the same combination of overgrips, the Wilson Cupra weights 373 and the Vela Pro, which is the heaviest racket in the Vela range, weights 378 grams. It seems like only a few grams difference and, in fact, if you take one and the other, you probably won't notice much. But you will notice it when you repeat the same movement for 90 minutes. 15 grams of difference between two rackets affect the physical effort you need to move that racket. So the Vela LTV2 is a light racket, but what about its balance? In this case and with my combination of overgrips, the Vela LTV2 has a balance of 26 cm. For comparison, the Cupra has 26 cm too and the Vela Pro 26.5. Remember that the balance is very important to do more or less physical effort to stand the weight and move the racket. The higher the balance, the more physical effort we need to move the racket easily. Why don't we do another international giveaway for one of these Vela LTV2 just if you like this video and subscribe to the channel? Help me doing that to convince Wilson to do another giveaway. On the other hand, regarding the design of the racket, I think you either love it or hate it. It is not common to use white in paddle rackets and much less to see a completely white racket. I have to say, perhaps influenced by football, that for me it is one of the most beautiful ones. Less is more and in this racket I just love it. It is true that if you play with new balls the racket will stain a little black but nothing you cannot easily clean. In addition take a look to the flow of the red rubber on the racket. A rubber that in this case you can listen to it. It is soft or hard? Well, in this case, Wilson has incorporated a softer version of its EVA rubber. What happens? That the soft EVA rubber mixed with the Wilson's 3K Carbon makes it a stiff racket. But what do I mean by stiff? In low intensity shots like a lop or a bandeja, you have the feeling that the racket is harder than what you feel later in shots such as a smash. And that has its pros and cons. The main strength of this? the control in volleys, bandejas or lobs, for two main reasons. The first I mentioned it before, it is a racket with a low ball output due to the combination of soft rubber with rigid fibers. And the second reason why this racket has so much control is its agility. In the end, if we want to hit the ball correctly, we will need to position ourselves properly. If we are not able to move our racket at the right speed, both in the preparation and in the stroke, we will reduce control. Tú estás jugando esta temporada con la Wilson Vela LT, la versión ligera de la Wilson Vela. ¿Por qué has elegido jugar con una pala más ligera de lo normal? Bueno, pues porque a mí desde el fondo de pista sobre todo me gusta jugar con una pala que al final tenga la sensación de que es bastante ligera y se mueve bien. How does the Vela LTV2 perform on this mass? Here is where the lightweight has its handicap. The heavier the racket, the more power the racket will be able to transmit to the ball at the same acceleration speed of our arm. With 363 grams, even though we can move it easily, it will need more mass to be an ideal racket for power players. 
But it could be positive for a style of smashers who seek to give a lot of spin to the ball. But it is not a racket that seeks to be top in power. In fact, the soft rubber doesn't help in this either. Despite feeling the stiffness of the rackets in low intensity shots, the ball doesn't acquire all the speed it could in a smash. And related to this, Marina Lobo, a professional paddle player, also gives us her opinion. Marina, con las palas ligeras, sí que algunos jugadores, yo no porque no le pego nada, <laughs> sienten que al pegarle la bola, la bola no sale tanto, porque cuanto más pesa, más masa mueves y más potencia le puedes dar a la bola. ¿Tú sientes eso? Bueno, la verdad es que yo no soy de las más pegadoras, pero sí que es verdad que prefiero tener más aceleración y tener los golpes tanto de fondo como de red más compensados. Rollo jugador a todo terreno. Exacto. What are the main things to improve for the next version? First of all, and in my opinion, the roughness. The roughness of the Vela LTV2 is a decal roughness that is hardly noticeable. The combination of different diameters in the holes helps, but it's not enough. Another aspect to improve, in my opinion, is the wrist court, Wilson's solution to be able to change the strength. I think it's a good idea to give the possibility to change the string, but I think it's too big and sometimes you feel it in your hand and it can be uncomfortable. What will Marina change for her racket next year? Si hay que cambiarle algo a esta pala de cara al año que viene, ¿qué cambiabas? Yo pondría un protector transparente en la, en la punta. ¿Por qué? Para cambiarme un poco el balance que me gusta que pese más arriba. Claro, al ser tan ligera no se nota que cabece demasiado, aunque hmm. es una pala claro. adiamantada, si esa palabra hmm. existe, pero como es ligerita de 355, pues que se mueve muy bien. Hmm. Entonces sí que es verdad, a ver, a mí tampoco me gustan muy cabezonas, pero si le añades un poquito por aquí, mm. la puedes tunear un poquito, que pese más y que ahí claro. quizá en los tiros de arriba vaya mejor, ¿no? Sí. Well, therefore, in summary, the Vela LTV2 outstands, obviously, for its lightweight. It's really easy to move this racket, it has so much control in volleys, bandejas and lobs, and take care of your arm. Its white design is spectacular for me, but it is not a racket for powerful players. Will you subscribe to the channel for a giveaway?